What's up guys? Eli here, back for a, a new stuff video. Been wanting to do this one for quite a while. Um, I've just been so fucking lazy. Um, at least two, three weeks, I've been like every day I've been wanting to do this video, but goddamn, I've just been a piece of shit. So anyways, I got some really cool stuff to show. Um, I have a nice handful of 2020 releases. Um, I have a couple movies that I'm stoked on, a couple new, a uh, couple re-releases I'm stoked on. And I got a package from my buddy Rick over at the Dreadful Minutes YouTube channel. Um, this was awesome. I, I, this, yeah, this made me so happy. I gotta say, um, maybe a week or two ago that I got this, I was having a pretty tough week and this came at the perfect time. So again, Rick, thank you so much. Um, I got some more, yeah, I have some stuff coming your way. Um, so I'll just start with what Rick sent me. Set it off with a bang. Sent me this premature burial EP picture disc, seven inch by Derkata. Um, I'm a big Derkata fan. So I was really happy to get this. This came out on seven metal inch, seven metal inches records. Yeah, I think. Very nice uh, picture disc. I love uh, seven inch picture discs. So this was, this is fucking awesome. Uh, he also sent me this uh, band I wasn't fam familiar with. I haven't listened to it just yet, but I guess it's a thrash band. I think out of Detroit, called Morbid Cross. Got Disciples of the Goat. Look at that cool artwork done by Shagrat of uh, of Acid Witch. Dude, I I forgot how you know what a phenomenal artist that dude was. Go look up his work online. But yeah, picture of the band back there. Pretty sick. They have a van like mine. A little like a little bit of older version. But, uh, yeah, it's fucking awesome. Then he sent me this, uh, this just came out this year. I wasn't familiar with this band either, but they are called Caged. Uh, Stricken by Continuance. Doom Death Metal out of Philly. Um, this came out on a label called Transylvanian Tapes. Cool purple shell. And I have listened to this one so far. Really fucking good, dude. I loved it. Um... I'm a big Doom Death guy anyways, but uh, just just really good Doom Death. Um, I don't have too many reference points. Um, there's a little bit of autopsy in there, a little bit of incantation, but they kind of do really have their own sound. Um, he also sent me this. I don't know if this is the tape that he just made himself, but it's really badass. 2013 demos and singles, and it's got uh, Crypt Sermon 2013 demo, Earth Lord, uh, some 2013 singles. Uh, 2013 demo from Temple of Void, uh, 2013 demo from Sardonyx, and yeah, obviously a home duped tape. I'm certainly no uh, stranger to that, but uh, yeah, I haven't listened yet. But I'll actually, there's a bunch of bands that I just named that I I haven't got around to listening to Temple of Void, but I've heard nothing but good. So it'd be a cool place to start. And he also sent me this, which I also have listened, and I quite dug it. Um, Blazing Right with their 2020 demo. Um, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that, but uh, you can have a look for yourself. Um, kind of traditional epic metal, if you will, from uh, I think they're from the Philly area as well. Nice gold shell there. Very old school sounding epic stuff. You know, if you like Manila Road, um, this, this would be definitely up your alley. Um, I'm very picky about modern like modern traditional metal and and I really enjoyed this lots of lots of potential here with this band and he sent me a Transylvanian tape sticker very cool um, I have no idea what this is but I've been meaning to look into it looks like it would definitely be something up my alley Texas chain paw massacre no idea but I love it uh, vinyl altar Record store out of Philly. Very cool. And this was fucking badass. Yeah, an original, um, when did this come out? 1990 Tops uh, Gremlins 2 card. Check that shit out. Badass, dude. Fucking awesome. I love Gremlins, so who the fuck doesn't? Next, I think I'll get with our, uh, I got some 2020 releases here. I'm going to start off with. Uh, this tape here, this is actually a couple co-workers of mine, including my boss, <laughs> oddly enough. 
And uh, this band's going, been going for quite some time now, um, and this is really good. Um, so the band is called Seven Chains. So this tape is uh, released just this year, Thus She Speaks, The Spiraling Marantha. And I have listened to it once already, and it's really fucking good. Um, again, just like my other co-workers, you know, album that I, that I showed the other day, I, you know, if I didn't think this was good, I wouldn't be showing it here. I'm not, uh, I'm not just trying to help out my buddies. Uh, I'm just not about that shit. It's good. Um, kind of very experimental sounding black death metal. If you like immolation and that, you know, very dissonant death metal, um, but with a lot more experimentation, uh, that might be up your alley. I also picked up from Nuclear Blast this year, uh, the new Cadaver album. Cadaver, old band out of Norway. They had two really fucking good albums in the 90s. Um, not saying the rest of their stuff wasn't good, I just I never got around to hearing it. So this is called Edder and Bile. Sorry about the glare. I'm never going to have super good looking videos probably. So um, I listened to this a couple times so far and it is pretty good, man. Uh, it's catchy, old school sounding death metal. You know, what's not to like? Oh, man. So this digipack I got is already fucking like cracking on the front. I've had it for like two, three weeks. Stop with the digipacks, guys. Fucking labels. If you see this, just stop. Um, so this band I had never heard of previous to uh, buying this 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 new release of theirs. Um, but it came out on Moribund Records, and the band is called Odem. Uh, out of Russia, uh, album's called Timeless Past Above. Um, a black death metal, more more death than black, but uh, really good musicians, good songwriters. It's a good fucking album. Um, yeah, I, d I definitely recommend it. I'll have to, you know, work myself backwards now and there at their discography. Like I said, I'd never heard of them uh, previous to buying that, so very good. Um, Pick this up just because you know, I'm a longtime Maiden fan. You know, did I need this in my collection? Absolutely not. But uh, did I enjoy listening to it? Yeah. Um, we have their newest uh, live album. You know, they have a hundred live albums: Knights of the Dead, Legacy of the Beast, live in Mexico City. Um, very nice, very nice packaging, by the way. Maiden, they know how to please their fans. I mean, when do they give us a, a, a subpar product? It, never, you know. Look at that. Very nice. Um, and it's a good live album. It sounds like Maiden in 2020. Um, you know, a band that never really lost much steam, you know. In 2020, actually that was recorded in 2019, but 2019 Maiden doesn't sound that far off from, you know, 80s Maiden. Um, <clears throat> it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty typical set list. Uh, for what they've been doing lately, you know, most of their, most of their old hits, um, but then it's got, it's got a couple, like, it's got, you know, the Wicker Man, you know, from, uh, from, uh, whatever that album was called, but I mean, they've been playing Wicker Man quite a bit ever since, uh, what, 2000 or whenever that album came out, but it's a good song, um, they even put, uh, shit, what is it? Oh, the Klansmen, they put on here, um, which was pretty cool. But they, they've been playing that live for a while, too. Um, but those are the only songs. Those are the two songs that aren't, like, uh, you know, old hits. But uh, it's cool, and it sounds good. Band sounds, you know, top-notch. Um, I This next band I've kind of ignored until recently. Um, I don't know if I'm going to dig back, you know, in their discography, but I certainly liked this album. Um, got the, uh, 2020 release from A Feather and Bone, Sulfuric Disintegration, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Good, just fucking devastating death metal. This is the first CD I've ever seen where it doesn't have anything written on the spine. Totally blank. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's, <laughs> I've never seen that before. Profound Lore Records. So these guys are out of the U.S., from what I have heard from you know some of their fans, this album is a, is a uh, quite an improvement on their their last album. 
I didn't hear that one, but uh, I'm definitely pleased with this. Um, I mean, this is just about as heavy as death metal can get. So I, I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, of course, I picked up the new uh, Sodom album, Genesis uh, 19. Sick cover art by Joe uh, Patagano. You know him from, Jesus, many, many good cover arts. Angel Corpse, uh, from Motorhead, to, just to name a few. Pretty decent digipack. I just say that because the artwork rules. Um, it came with a poster of the cover, which is very cool. I'm definitely going to use it. Um, I like when labels do little, little things like this for you, you know? It's not a big poster, but I, it's, it's a good size to me. Yeah. I mean, that cover art's pretty badass. And it's got that on the other side. So. Yeah, it's a good album. Uh, I think the last few Sodom albums, I think all their... First of all, they're a band that I don't think ever really slipped. Um, I think some of their albums are better than others. I don't think they've ever had a terrible album. But their last few albums have been pretty strong. I think this one might be their best in a while. So if you're a Sodom fan and you were, you know, debating getting it, I think you I think it's worth uh I think it's worth a shot. On this band, this next one I've heard I've heard a little bit of this uh of this band in the past. Um I've never been a massive fan, but I figured I'd show some support uh, that you know the dude the main dude in this band seems like a good kid. And uh I figured why not? And I have listened a couple times and it is enjoyable. Uh Peaceville Records, we have the new Hell Ripper album. Uh the Affair of the Poisons. It's good, man. Um, you know, if you like, uh, if you like Midnight, and you you need more bands to like, you know, of that ilk, Hell Ripper are. Uh, you can definitely do worse than Hell Ripper. Um, band out of Scotland. So that's it for the 2020 uh, new releases. I'll show uh, some of the other shit that I got. This is a. This is a newer, um, what the hell's on this? <laughs> Some grimy shit on my CD. Um, Jesus Christ. This is a newer, uh, re-release, and, uh, I'm not super into this band, but I don't, you know, I like them from time to time. Um. Maybe not as much as some of you guys, but we have, uh, this is the debut EP from Revenge with Attack Blood Revenge. Um, they have been signing a season of Mist for a while now, so I'm assuming season of Mist is going to start kind of like a re, uh, repressing all their, their, you know, their old catalog, which is cool. I'll take it. Um, I don't think I need to, ex you know, do much explaining, you know, Canadian Black Death War Metal. Um, a lot of you love them. Uh, this is a random pickup here, as a lot of these are. Um, this is a... An old industrial, kind of like an industrial super group from back in, I don't know what year this came out in, sometime in the 90s. It was produced by Steve Albini, and it had, like, uh, dudes from uh, Killing Joke. Uh, so this band was called Murder, Inc. Self-titled album. CD's definitely seen better days, but uh, plays all right. I bought this pretty much strictly because it was like a dollar. I just figured I'd give it a shot. And it, it as I expected, it, it's definitely not my cup of tea. But uh, I'll probably pass this on to a friend. Or someone that likes hardcore. This is, uh, the band is called Lifelong Tragedy. It came out on Death, With, Death, <laughs> Death Wish Productions. Um, I don't know what the album's called. The album is called uh, Runaways just not my cup of tea we'll leave it at that um super stoked to find this because i found this band's first album not too long ago now i had their second album which is all they did as far as full lengths um I, I used to have them years ago and i got rid of them and i regretted it so glad to have them back in my collection uh, only a living witness with innocence um <clears throat> boston area band they started out like a hardcore band and they later on Shortly after that, I would say they became like more of a, uh, I don't know how you, I mean, almost kind of grungy, hard rockish, sludge metal. I mean, they're definitely a hard band to, uh, to categorize, but uh, I really dig their music. 
got this old uh I never I've never heard this. I I do like this band's shit. Um even though I don't listen to a lot of punk. Also, I didn't know Victory Records was active in 94. So I thought that was pretty cool. But this is an old uh I think it's an EP from Face to Face. Over it. Punk band from uh, Southern California. Saw them live many years back and I've just kind of been a fan ever since. Yeah, like I said, I didn't know Victory Records was around in 94, so that was pretty cool. Um, picked up another, so this, this will be the second album I have from this band, uh, Sisters of Mercy with Floodland. Really fucking good, by the way. Um, I definitely like this more than, you know, their other album that I've had. Um, it's fantastic. This is, uh, originally came out in 87, so this is a re, uh, repressing uh, digipack, of course, but it's... A Old goth rock, good stuff. Um, definitely one of the better bands to uh, to play that genre. Um, this album right here, I've been actually kind of wanting for quite a while. It's not super easy to find. Um, 1988 album from uh, Blue Oyster Cult with Imaginos. Despite it being from 1988, is actually a very good album. I've been wanting it for, for years, so I'm glad I finally had that. Then we got another hardcore, random hardcore album that I bought. Probably won't be my thing, but I'll, I'll give it a listen. Uh, this came out in 94 on New Age Records. Uh, I got Resurrection with I Refuse. I think it's an EP. Don't know anything about it other than what I just said. So, oh yeah, I got a couple uh, Got a couple movies I'll, I'll share with you as well. Um, I don't buy a lot of sci-fi, but this one just looked so cool to me. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet, but uh, maybe I'll watch it tonight. We got uh, Annihilation, came out a couple years back, always just looked sick to me and I heard it was really good too. Um, this is a, <laughs> a horror movie that's eluded me for a long time, so I guess I'll finally get to watch it. Return of the Living Dead, got Legend of the Chupacabra, a trauma release, uh, I haven't seen this one but uh, it's a trauma movie so it should be fun. And Retro Puppet Master. I have seen this before. It's not great, but uh, whatever. So anyways, that's it, guys. Um, talk to me. I haven't heard from you in a while, I guess. So um, yeah, let's chat, huh? Thanks for stopping by. Cheers. We will talk soon. Whoops.